Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today we are looking at objects in space. You might remember I actually looked at this game a long, long time ago, back in uh, 2017 at GDC. They had it at uh, Alt Control GDC. That's the part of the game's developers conference where the people bring crazy controllers. So this game kind of set itself apart by not only did they provide the game, but they also provided a series of plans for you to build your own, own control panel, and that was what they were showing off. Now, the game has just reached early access, and uh, yeah, you know, it's actually a full space exploration thing, kind of inspired by submarine-type sims. So yeah, game starts out, you're on the Cassandra, which is some sort of colony ship that's going out on a grand adventure, um, and, you know, you get to go out to uh, start to learn to play the game. Permission to undock has happened, so we'll go in through the airlock. Now, first thing is you can actually walk around inside your little shuttle. There's two rooms here, two sets of panels. Before we undock, we need to close the airlock doors, obviously. Then over here we have, uh, on the docking controls, we can undock. So that's us. Yep, there we go. Now all that's out there is deep space. Uh, we've got some comms coming in, so let's answer the hail. The SS Spionkop is... I don't know, what is that? And so yeah, you get to talk to your friend, rotate your ship 50 degrees on your helm screen. So over your here is your helm screen. Of course, you know your helm is bound to WASD, so you can skip through that kind of quickly. And burn the main engines for a second to bring her up to speed. So let's do that. Fire the engines for a bit and then turn them off. So that's us now cruising away. Engines are online. All right, we're moving. Let's get out of here. Make sure Cass is in good shape. So Cass is Cassandra. It's this your big exploration ship going to Apollo, which is, I don't know why they call it Apollo, but I mean, I guess it's a, a code name which kind of inspires, right? Forget Earth and the haters. Yeah, there's a whole lot of text here. Most of which is not really that relevant, so we're gonna probably edit this out. Okay, people, this is Cassandra Actual. That means it's the captain. All ships have reported in, and we're ready for the final jump into Apollo. Everybody check your Cassandra status screens and select jump ready when you're in position. Okay, jump drive is spun up. I am jump ready. We're gonna connect. Here we go! Final big jump! Nothing can go wrong now, right? Error! Module sync failed. Module is non-functional. That's not a good sign. We're getting some reboots. Uh, module map glyphs, IF buttons, object tracker. I like how there's only three megabytes of memory on this super high-tech space navigation system. Uh, looks like we're spinning around. That's not good. Can't see out there, but that can't be good. Hey, Leslie Garbutt, who are you and why uh, Why are you hailing me? Hey there, what's going on? You all right in there? That's going to be my Leslie voice. What? Who are you? Where are the others? I'm Les, just riding my local route through these here parts and suddenly you appear on my radar and I'm like, heck, this ain't a normal jump location, so I figure I'd better see what was up. That makes sense there, Skipper? Sure it does, so yes. He's basically explaining, look, my helm is busted, so let's click on it and can disconnect it, and now because it's disconnected, I can open it up and I get a circuit board showing stuff using my magic tool to add extra work. We can basically open up the panel and then drag out the busted component. What is this? This is an XTA Octane. Okay, now, what do I do next? Yep, that's all done. Okay, let's go to the bridge. And so I can just hit the RCS button, or I can push the S key. Woo, she's stopped spinning. Turns out that when I made that last jump, I somehow jumped 45 years into the future. You're a newcomer. This is where I have basically popping in later. On the fight, they all get caught in some kind of space-time rift. Okay, so it basically is telling me to get on my nav map and go to the station. So let's zoom out. Lego gas port. Plot course. Engage. Brilliant! I'm pretty slow here. 
0.55 gigameters per second. So now I have docked. Running life support sync check. Done. Excellent. So I'm now docked so I can unlock the doors. So yeah, once we get docked, we uh, meet, we come face to face, face to pixelated face with Leslie Garbutt, who looks like he's come straight out of Quake, or Strafe. He basically says, sorry, you know, your old antique Remora shuttle pretty much isn't street legal anymore, or space legal, and you have to run around and look for a place to buy yourself a new ship, because no doubt there's some antique dealer that wants a 45-year-old ship to buy. And so yeah, if you go pushing sideways, we come to here, where we're supposed to be wearing hard hats. Don't know if that includes us, but it looks like I can buy the Varuna, which is a Series Mark III manufactured by Ventari. We have a registration number, registered at Galilean Command. Oh, decent top speed. Let's buy this. So now we have a little bit of cash left. We can go back and talk to Leslie once again, and I sort it out. So. What else should I do? So now we're basically into the game proper right now, which is kind of at this time a sandbox, I believe. I don't know if there's any deeper plot to it, but um, yeah, idea is you know to be hauling, hauling materials or uh, possibly bounty hunting or scavenging loot. Uh, and all from a spacecraft which has you jumping from one console to the next. So yeah, we're going to undock. Request permission. Granted. Jump down the corridor. And now this is us inside the ship. So again, close the doors. So let's actually take a look around. We have, um, I don't know what this is, but it's like a, the galley area, I guess, I guess. We have a little uh, sleeping area where you can see the screen just to check your status. The reactor is scrammed that right now. That doesn't mean that it has run away, that means that the reactor has been shut down because all the control rods are inside it. So we've got one place here, and we can in fact check our email from here. So yeah, we got all the stuff. United Leon Space Enterprises, we'll work for them. Leslie! Hey, just send in this message. Sure, I'll send you a response. Send. And then back to the inbox. So yeah, there's also like Cosmo instructions for your Cosmos navigation systems. I don't think we need that right now. So I'm going to head over. This is uh, the reactor bay here. So again, this is a slightly different design of ship. We've only got some of our cargo space available now. Uh, looks like we have reaction control thrusters, helm. Ah, yeah, okay. Great. Ah, and this is the power area. This is actually the power area. Now, with each of these, you can set them so that they come offline when you're in uh, MCOM, what is it, Emission Control Mode. Because this kind of pulls a lot of its tropes from submarine simulators, there's many ways to try and minimize your signature in deep space. You know what they say about there not being no stealth in space, well that doesn't make for much fun. So, okay, so where am I actually supposed to go? Bring up my PDA and find out. Tab, 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 tab. Perfect! Or oh, prefect! Prefect. Yes, I should have read that correctly. Let's take a look and see if we can find prefect. Oh, there's prefect there. No doubt named after a certain uh, hippie fruit dude or whatever, right? <laughs> I, I forget that exact phrase. Okay, and that's us. We're on our way. Leaving the Lego gas port. And at this time, we're not really certain what we can see here. Oh. We haven't learned, we haven't fully explored this system yet, so we don't have all the info. Now, we can actually look at some of these signatures out here. And yeah, because this is pooling its, uh, you know, pooling its ideas or whatever, pooling its tropes from submarine sims, you have, you know, different frequencies of radiation coming out and it gives you ideas of what might be on this. You can look at the best historical signal, you can look at the live signal. Yeah, um, I'm sure this will be something that I will learn at some point, but right now it's just, that's cool. I hope it proves to be useful. 
Because I can't wait to be hunting Khan in the Mutara Nebula, right? Uh, so this is going at top speed as well. This is my helm, and up here, if I do have weapon systems, I don't actually have any weapons installed, but you can have torpedoes and everything on board. These are all my transfer pods and everything if I want to move stuff around. Oh, that's cool. Good to know, back to my regular helm. Oh well, yeah, I should activate my IFF system, because otherwise I will have a fine if I get caught by, if police scan me and they find that I'm not running IFF. Attention, freighter, prepare to be scanned. Scans are clean, travel safely. Oh, contraband detected. Wait, Verdi. Oh wait, that's not me. That's the other one, so now I'm seeing everybody out here. Anyway, yeah, let's run time compression so we get over there a little faster. Unfortunately, time compression is a little slow. Oh. Hey, Juan Garcia, what are you going to say to me? Oi, don't even think about it. Keep your grappling arm off our stuff. I'm not doing anything. This here wreckage is mine. I'm not going to fight you for it because I don't have any way to fight you for it. Back off. Fine. Okay, come on. Give me power again. Give me speed. So yeah, the game does kind of run a little slow. And I can understand why it's paced the way it is. But I'd like to have slightly faster time acceleration. Well, looks like we're getting docked. Engaging life support. Docking process complete. Excellent. Okay, so now we can run over here. And... Open the doors. Now we're looking for the... Oh, look, we've got all these cool people here with their cool space hairstyles. Uh, airlocks, me, mecha Oh, the mechanic's off in that direction. Okay, contracts. Oh, no, you know what? I've already got the contract. What I just do is I sell my stuff. And that completes the contract. Con contract completion bonus, 123 credits. Very nice. I didn't make any profit on that, but I did make contract money. Looks like there's a bar here. Oh, look, there's the picture of the series. Elegant in its simplicity. Economical, easy to repair, a mechanic's dream. Uh oh. Oh, man, physical damage taken from asteroids. That's not good. Okay. Gotta get out of this asteroid field. We don't want to be inside it. I'm just gonna make some course adjustments here. The reason it's taking so long is because my power is uh my power isn't being replenished quickly enough. Man, took some damage there. Asteroid's not good. Oh look, we have a whole Wikipedia thing, the Infopedia. Yeah, engineering, MCOM mode, MCOM, short for emissions control mode is a setting on your ship will shut down modules in order to keep your ship as undetectable off as possible. That's the E button. What's the Christmas tree? Small series of on-off lights visible on your bridge which show you the at a glance whether or not your main engine, RCS or reactor are on and whether or not your ship is currently in MCOM mode. There we go. ME for main engine, RC for reaction control, or yeah, RCS maybe, RE for reactor, and EM for MCOM. Okay, we're docking up here. Shipping up, spinning up system sync manifolds, sinking magnetic junk lock. Now locked onto the Leon Maru jump gate. Jump! So of course, if you've taken damage in flight, you can go to the mechanics panels and get things fixed. It'll cost you a bit of money and they'll also sell you spare parts, extra modules, things like that too. 
There are plenty of other people to talk to, uh, you know, various people in various stations wanting various things. Some are smugglers, some are dealers in illicit substances, and some are just, you know, starry-eyed young men who want to be spa uh, sport, space sports stars, right? But he needs to get to this space sports place. And thanks to the power over time and space that video editing offers, you don't have to sit through his inane in-flight chat. Instead, he is there, we have money. And we are grateful, and perhaps one day that autograph that I got off him will be worth something. And the game does actually come with a built-in combat scenario. Obviously, I didn't get far enough into the game that I needed to have weapons, but you can jump straight in and start to learn how things work. So we've got a target out there. Target is unknown. These are purple nebula that will be zapping me with electrical damage if, I'm, if I spend too much time in them. Right now, I'm just trying to get close to this target so that uh, I can spin up my torpedoes and go pew-pew with them. Well, it's not really pew-pew because they're kind of torpedoes. It's like... Anyway, um, yeah. Look, we're looking at the scans. We've got two possible bogeys here. Now, yeah, you can see, like... Oh, yeah, you can see current status and you can see best historical signature. Oh, wait, this guy's turned around. That, may in that probably indicates that it's a real spaceship, so let's turn around and try to make some headway on it. Uh-oh! What is that? Warning, new contact bearing 90 degrees with no IFF active. That's probably a bad sign. Let's uh, spin up a torpedo. So select the tube, spin it up. That takes some power. We will... Uh-oh. Warning, electrical damage taken from charged thing. Ah, wait, uh-oh, looks like we have two things in the water! Uh, space! Space, water! And dropping countermeasure, and the game crashes. Well, it is early access, so uh, let's give that another go! Constant bearing, decreasing range, bogey is live, setting weapons target. Okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna use the keyboard this time. Spinning up torpedo! Okay, and we're gonna fire our engine. Oh wow, we are stuck between two asteroid fields. We have, we have possible torpedo detected on bearing 171. We are launching our torpedo, but prepare, prepare for impact. Prepare countermeasures. PDCs online. Oh my god, and we're running low on power as well. Prepare for countermeasures. Oh, uh, there we go. Come on, you dumb fish, take the bait! No! No, wait, wait, brace for impact! Brace for impact! Oh, and it crashed again. And that is really kind of a tragedy right now. Yes, it is early access, expect crashes and all that, but yeah, the whole torpedo, you know, signature checking, countermeasures, em uh, emissions control, that's a great part of the game. That's one of the best parts of the game, and it's broken right now, or at least it's broken in the scenario, so I hope they fix that ASAP. I'm sure they will. Uh, yeah, there's so much to mess around with, so many little terminals you can go to. You know, the, the mail and the news terminal? Yeah, there's other programs on there. I'm sure you can do some proper hacking. There's another terminal you can log into that's like the engineering terminal. It gives you low-level access to things like firing your engine. So, if, say, your helm is bust, you can still log into that terminal and fly it via command line. But on the other hand, the game is very, very slow. There's a lot of busy work, requesting to undock, closing both doors, hitting the undock button, waiting for everything to power up. You know, it's not for people that want a fast, uh, you know, fast fighter sim. It's for people that like simulators, people that perhaps that really like submarine sims and thought, this would be great if it were in space. If you're one of those people that hate Elite Dangerous because it takes so long to do anything, this probably isn't the game for you. But if the modem punk aesthetic appeals to you, or at least doesn't put you off, then it's pretty atmospheric. It definitely has a lot going on, a lot of depth, and I really like it. In fact, I'd probably be one of these people to want to have the real physical tactile pro uh, controller, because that would be a pretty major uh, contributor to immersion in this thing. Uh, not for everyone, but definitely something I would recommend if it's your kind of thing. I'm Scott Manley. Fly silent, fly safe.